So I finally got this API connection with uh, the Ergast Formula One API working. Um, so I'll show you real quick how it works and then uh, demo the code a little bit. Um, I'm going to live stream some of this tomorrow and go over it in more depth uh, then. Um, so I've already created a F1 circuits database in my Formula One setup here, which is, just has a bunch of databases in it right now, nothing fancy. And I created this database from the API after taking a look at the circuits uh, endpoint and the ergast one. Uh, so these basically just map to properties in the ergast API. Uh, so what we do here is um, if the database doesn't exist, we create an F1 circuits database in Notion using the API. We make the request to the ergast uh, API, cache the data locally for successive requests. And then I um, am building a, a set of promises that are uh, so we can throttle the requests of Notions API because right now they have a very low uh, request per seconds at three. And uh, I've actually been running up against some throttling with three. So I've bumped it down to two. So uh, I'll just run my little circuit script here, which uh, does some two API requests per second. And you'll see on the left, it'll start creating the items from the API. And yep, I'm creating them in reverse order so that they'll be sorted uh, alphabetically from the top there. Um, so, okay, that's done. So I'm only fetching the first 30 results from the API right now. Um, but you can see here, here's the uh, output of all those pages that are created. Um, and looks good. We've got latitude, longitude, locality, um, and now that I got my data in, I can actually start grouping stuff. So I could say group by country. That's pretty cool. So we got UK, USA, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, getting the data in is cool, and then we can start playing around with it. So let's have a look at the code. Writing this in the JavaScript API. So I'm building myself a little, a little Notion uh, helper setup. So there's in the examples, there are props, utils, which uh, format uh, Notion properties when you're assigning content to a page, for example. Uh, there's plain old utils, and there's a, uh, I created a shared, um, this one's kind of like the shared stuff for my Formula One thing. So this is my dashboard page. Here's the endpoint for the Ergast API. Um, We've got an ergast uh, function that basically acts as a wrapper for uh, Axios, which is what I'm using to query the API. Uh, and then we're saving the JSON locally um, in the temp folder here so that the next time I request, we don't uh, use that. So here's the circuit script. And let's have a look here. Um, yeah, so down at the bottom is our main stuff. So we're creating a circuits database fetching the circuits from ergast and then creating the circuits using the circuits database that we created and the ergast circuits results. Um, found this really great library called async SEMA. I think it's made by the Vercel folks or somebody um, next JSE. Um, and so what we're doing there is I'm using this limit function, which is just a, where did I save that? index yeah so this is just this rate limit from the async SEMA library and uh, like I said notion RPS right now I'm, I've got it set to two requests per second the docs say it's three but I started getting 409 errors as soon as I ran that uh, so two seems to be the magic number would really like some increase in that uh, or the ability to create multiple documents at the same time because you can only create one per create uh, request to the API. So basically I'm just mapping uh, uh, the circuits that I'm getting from Ergast. I'm doing my await limit, which throttles that request, and then it'll call the create circuit function, which create circuit up here. You can see we write a little dot to the command line, and then I'm basically just passing all the props through. So I read all these little props helpers too, because there's a lot of JSON that you have to specify. Um, maybe I'll go back later and TypeScript, all this stuff, but VS Code's pretty pretty fancy. Already says you know what I'm what it's typed as if without typing, so that's kind of neat. Um, yeah, and then I just create the 
databases in the database URL, which I've already pulled from here, which is where we create our circuits database. Um, so basically here, I'm just saying like search for a database by this title. And if it exists, use that. Otherwise we're going to create a database with these properties. And this timestamps one is kind of like, uh, I guess kind of like I need to move it to, yeah, I need to move it to the props, but this is basically like using timestamps in a rails, uh, migration just adds the created at and updated at properties to anything. So yeah, here we await notion database, um, give it an icon, give it a title property, and then pass through all those properties. Um, and here's where we're actually grabbing the er the circuits. Um, the JSON um, API returns a nested circuits table circuits array. Um, so that ergast thing that I wrote, where the fuck did that go? Oh yeah, it's in the Formula One shared. So I'm just using, uh, what am I using? I don't even remember. Oh yeah. I'm using a under, not underscore, low dashes get to just fetch that nested. Uh, it's like kind of like dig in Ruby, I guess. Uh, and I'm limiting by a hundred. Uh, I think this must be wrong because I'm only getting 30 results back right now. And there's about 78 circuits. So I need to fix that. But I just wanted to share this cause I'm enjoying writing some uh, hacky ass JavaScript again. And I think that the Notion API is interesting, but very limited at this time. And I'm hoping to see more coming from them in 2022. See ya.